What's going on guys? Welcome back to the Trench Grenade channel, a channel where I tell you if you're still running iron sights on your handgun, you're probably wrong. There you go. Now that I've ruffled all the feathers, if you enjoy the channel, like and comment. Leave a comment down below of when you switched from iron sights on your duty or everyday carry gun to a red dot. If you're, comp if you're shooting competitively with um, dots, let me know how the experience has been. Guys, if you want to support the channel, you know the deal. Patreon is five dollars a month, gets you access to this Discord server right here, as you can see on my second monitor, where the boys are waiting to play some Tarkov. If you want to be in the Discord server and you want to support the channel, get down below, check out the Patreon. There will also be a link for uh, Palmetto State Armory. If you want to support the channel, buy something with that link. Thank you. All right, guys. So I get a lot of comments on my channel because people know me as the guy that is relatively decent at shooting iron sights and the guy that kind of says carry handles are okay on rifles right but with me saying carry handles and irons are okay on rifles yes are they acceptable for handguns yeah they're acceptable but so is a really low credit score right you don't want a really low credit score so check it out the iron the days of just being able to run iron sights on handguns i believe are over okay here's a, a gun i always use for demonstration purposes right uh glock 19 gen 5 i did put trigicon night sights on it but here's the deal guys anyone who has ever shot competition or anything uh sh shot drills shot and actually trained with a gun going from equal height equal light on iron sights yes that's a saying that you should use when you're getting equal height equal light between your front sight post and rear sight okay uh, you want it to be equal height equal light between the rear uh on the rear sight with that being said if you've ever switched over to dot one, it's a lot faster because you can get your target focus. So as you bring the gun up, the dot just appears, okay? Obviously, that comes with dry fire, but if I wanted to shoot somebody in the face, for example, in Minecraft, I would just bring the gun up and the dot would appear on the target. Whereas with iron sights, your front sight focus, what that means is you're staring at that front sight, okay? You have to find the target, drive the gun, find the sight, fire. Whereas using dots, with a dot, it would be like this. I find the guy I want to shoot, bring the gun up, bang, 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 until he's not a threat. Look at the new guy, bring the gun over, and the dot will just appear. For irons, this, this is how it would be for irons. Find the guy, bring it up, front sight, bring it up, center, equal height, equal light, bang. Okay, he's gone, new guy. Find the guy, look at the front sight, equal height, equal light, bang. It's a lot slower. And if all you guys in the comments that don't train, that don't actually use the guns, are going to be like, I don't have any issues with my irons. I've been running my 40 cal since 1980. That's okay. We're not talking about being mediocre we're talking about being a professional and actually getting good with the gun okay so yes you should be running a dot you should be running a dot i have a video that will post prior to this on what dot to use okay go watch that video yes you should be running a dot on your handgun if you're not running a dot on your handgun you're probably wrong you need to go get training go get some training if you've ever said i can't find the dot you're wrong you need to dry fire because you're getting dot focused Focus on the target. Stare really hard on the target where you want where you want the dot to go, and then the dot will just appear. With a good firm grip that you're supposed to have, a good grip that you've dry fired with, the dot will just appear on that spot, okay? Trust me. Go dry fire, go shoot, go do some drills, and if you get, you know, get a dot, do some dry fire. Trust me. Draw your handgun, clear it out, draw your handgun on the spot you want the dot to go, the dot will go there, okay? Because that's how it works. So, guys, in summary, should you run a dot on your carry gun, everyday carry, uh, everyday carry duty gun, if you're a cop, um, yeah, you should have a dot. It should be Loctited on there. It should be zeroed. I recommend zeroing at either 10 or 10 meters or 25 meters. Pick one, okay? Pick one and you'll be fine. Whatever range you want, that's a whole other video. If you want a video on how and why to zero at either 10 meters or 25 meters, post down below and I'll make that video. Thanks for being here, guys. If you have iron sights, I'll find my gun real quick. If you have iron sights on your gun, go out, get a better, get a slide, mill it out, whatever you need to do, run a dot. Dots are better. Irons are fun, but they're mediocre compared to the dot. You will cut your splits down. You'll be a lot faster when running a dot on a handgun. All right, guys. Thanks for being here. If you want to support the channel, get down below, like, comment, and until next time, this is going to be Trench Grenade, your average... Iron sight enjoyer, but also iron sight hater that your mom said that we have at home. Signing out. Cheers.